Look what I got for Christmas, a bread maker. Here are all the little things it comes with. Let's make some bread. This first bread is going to be a French countryside loaf. I'll put a link to the uh, ingredients and the measurements and stuff in the description below. Um, we want it to have a uh, nice crusty bread for our dinner. So um, I think this one was the best choice here. So prior to using my machine, um, I watched a whole bunch of videos about people using uh, bread machines. And there's a certain uh, way to make the bread in a bread machine. You have to put all the wet ingredients in first, and then the dry ingredients with the yeast uh, last on top. And then after watching all that, I tuned into a channel called Artisan Bread with Steve, and he does whatever he wants. He puts salt in with the yeast and the water, <laughs> and they said you're not supposed to do that, but uh, his breads come out nice, and he doesn't knead them or anything. He um, lets them rest overnight for 8 to 12 hours, 24 hours, and his breads look like they come out fine, so I'm not sure how precise those uh, rules are, but um, I'm going to try to make one one day without following any of these rules and see what happens. So here I am choosing the crust um, darkness, the loaf size, and the style of bread. You'll see the number two on there. That's for French bread on my machine. Yours is probably different. And uh, there it goes. It's starting up. So the one thing I noticed, this is a brand new bread machine, and that's how the front of it looks. It looks kind of dented and stuff, but it still makes great bread. so pretty so this is the beginning of the last rise it just formed the dough and it's rising for the last time one thing I didn't show is that I took the dough out of there I removed the dough hook I cut a slit in the top and I sprinkled some flour you can see it there and here it is baking that was me be quiet Okay, so let's get the loaf out of that pan. It's really, really hot. It looks so pretty. My first loaf came out great. Let's take a listen to it, see if it sounds hollow, see how crispy it is. Sounds hollow to me. I just love the way the bread looks here. Let's just take a couple of glamour shots of it and uh, let's cut some up for dinner. We didn't have a bread knife, so I'm using a steak knife. So um, I kind of <laughs> tore the bread up a little bit, but it's still delicious. And this is typical uh, food for our family for the holidays, lasagna with a carne mechada. I forgot what type of uh, cut that is, but it's stuffed with uh, carrots and peppers and that kind of stuff. Yum, covered with grated cheese. And then I decided on making a onion cheddar loaf, um, which is the white bread recipe with a packet of onion soup mix and shredded cheddar. Man, that really made the house smell really good. Kind of looks like a roasted chicken right here, <laughs> but that's a cap of shredded cheddar cheese on top. Mm -mm -mm. So I had to wait an hour for it to be cool enough to cut into, but you guys don't have to wait at all. Here it is right there. This came out really, really good. Uh, we ate it for the rest of that week. Uh, we toasted it up and, you know, put a little butter on there. It's delicious. Can't wait to make more. All right, well, I hope your guys' holidays was just as uh, filled with food as mine was. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.